Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are talking about the key to three star attacks at Town Hall 10. And this is a video that I really wanted to get uh, out for you guys because I think it's very helpful, and we see so many different attacks at Town Hall 10. But I'm going to try to connect the dots for you guys here um, in the four replays that I have and talk about kind of the key, regardless of what attack strategy, what is it that you're trying to do um, at Town Hall 10 to get the three star. And what I'm going to argue in this video is that the main important key to three starring at Town Hall 10 is neutralizing the Inferno Towers. And there's a few different ways you can do it. Um, for a hybrid attack that features defense targeting troops like Hogs or Laloon on the back end of the base, the key is biting off as much as you can with your kill squad in a way that doesn't engage the Inferno, or if it does engage the Inferno, um, it takes out the Inferno quickly before it can do damage, because at Town Hall 10, your heroes being level 40 are actually pretty powerful relative to the defenses. It's just that the Infernos um, are going to be the main thing um, being single targeted that are going to take out your your heroes. So if you can neutralize the Inferno Towers or at least keep your heroes away from them, uh, you can get a lot of value for your Hogs or Laloons so they don't have to deal with as much. By the way, a good adjustment there, sending in a few Hogs to take out the air defense there, uh, saves him a few healers. His Queen will die eventually, um, but the key is... Uh, for the investment of one spell and some healers and a few support troops, bites off a pretty big piece of the base, the CC troops, the queen, gets some cannons, um, doesn't necessarily get both Inferno Towers, but at Town Hall 10, that's not important. Um, the single Infernos can't really hurt Hogs or Laloon that much. They can do more to Lava Hounds, but especially for Hogs, you want to focus on getting cannons, wizard towers, um, high HP buildings that might have spring traps between them, stuff like that taken out, just as many defenses as you can, especially the high HP ones, and then send in hogs for the rest because the infernos do so much more damage to your kill squad, to your queen charge, to anything that involves your heroes than they do to your hogs and your Laloon. Now, you're, you're probably wondering, okay, what about for Witch Bowler attacks in the Falcon, where it's not like a phased attack where you have a kill squad, then a Laloon, and we'll talk about that as well um, as we go through the replays here. But like I said, at Town Hall 10, the key is getting value from your heroes and protecting them from the Infernos, because um, the Infernos are the main thing at Town Hall 10 that, that limits the ability to three stars. So let's move on to another attack here. We're going to go to number... Um, number 12 from this war. This is Darth Panda attacking. And this one, one more hog attack for you guys. A little bit different. We saw in the last one, it was a queen charge that uh, was just away from the Infernos. And that's a good option, especially if the queen is not near single Infernos. But typically people put their queen near their Inferno Towers because they know you're going to want to use your heroes to take out the defensive queen. And by guarding her with the Infernos, it makes it difficult to do that. But this one was a nice attack and a nice um, way of attacking this base because uh, the Giants are going to tank for the Inferno Tower, so this way um, he can still come at the Queen, come at the CC troops, um, but the Inferno Tower is not going to be an issue even though it's kind of in this area. So the key here is the Inferno goes down quickly. The Giants are very good at uh, tanking because it's only five troop space, so even if the single Inferno locks onto the Giants, which actually is what you want to happen, um, it's just going to be five troop space lo lost once the single Inferno uh, deals up the damage. And the key to this attack is not the Hogs. There's really not that many Hogs. The pathing isn't great through the base. Um, the key is the Heroes up in the middle and this other Inferno going down to the Hogs before it can lock onto the Heroes. So the Heroes, like I said, being level 40 or your most powerful asset. Um, I'm assuming you have maxed heroes, which you typically need to have a good shot at three-starring at Town Hall 10 against tough bases. Um, the heroes are so important, and relative to defenses, they're actually pretty powerful, probably more so than Town Hall 9. So um, having the heroes with the healers on them in the middle of the base was huge. Got the first Inferno neutralized by the Giants in just kind of the big rush from the kill squad, then got the Hogs in quick enough to take out the other Inferno, and that was the key. Getting those Infernos neutralized as quickly as possible and allowing his heroes to be up inside the middle of the base, clearing things out, tanking for the Hogs, 
and because of that the hogs can finish through the base here so nice attack we'll fast forward to the end and take a look at a few others um, but once again for these hybrid attacks that's going to be the key is getting value from your kill squad in a way that's not going to confront the infernos and if it does deals with it quickly at the beginning of the entry and um, try to get the hogs or the laloon in to smother the other inferno as soon as possible okay moving on to number 14 here um, this one is a laloon attack a little bit lucky um, we'll talk about how this one worked out because the inferno that is on the top here probably could have gotten the queen if things had worked out just a little bit differently but um turns out the queen is not going to die here but it still illustrates the point where if you can come in grab two air defenses um wizard tower expo archer tower maybe like a tesla cc troops get all that value um that's what you want out of the um ground hybrid for this la Luna attack and then the single infernos aren't as much of an issue for the la Luna. they will pop your lava hounds but if you have a few spells to haste the loons through the main thing is that you soak up all the air traps with your lava hounds and that you tank for the air defenses as long as you can but really the air defenses don't take out the balloons that quickly um so right here you can th see things get kind of sketchy because the inferno locks onto the queen fortunately for queen charges um you're able to use the ability that's like your one get out of jail free card for the single inferno locking onto the queen and right here she could have shot a wall but she goes over to the air defense um, which is very nice for this attack and um, even though it was a bit lucky that's kind of the idea of what you want to do is take out um, with a queen charge value whether that's a laloon attack and getting air defenses or getting a lot of uh, wizard towers um, cannons expos just general defenses if it's a hog attack but getting that value and avoiding the single infernos you can do a queen charge straight at one of the infernos but typically that's not going to be advantageous to do um, has a nice skelly spell for the queen so she goes down and the rest here la Luna's not great through the base deployments okay um pathing isn't perfect so it's a little bit close at the end here but i think this attack still illustrated the main points of what you want to be doing um, so the queen goes through the wall right here. She will grab the inferno just before she dies um, Or just before it's able to take her down. I think she will actually go down uh, To the expo in just a moment. So we will fast forward to the end here and We'll take a look at one of those attacks that I mentioned um, The two main ones at Town Hall 10 the witch bowler and the falcon are different They're not going to be phased attacks. So you guys might be wondering how does this principle fit into those type of attacks where it's not like getting value from a kill squad or a queen charge, but everything's kind of happening at once. So let's take a look at one of those, and it's going to be the popular one, the Falcon, uh, that people are using so much. Um, but the main idea is the same. You're still trying to rush through to both Infernos as quickly as you can, and... Um, this one's a little more flexible than the Witch Bowler in that um, if you have like a ton of troops left up at the end, even if you have one Inferno that's still hanging out somewhere, as long as there's that not that many defenses, the Valks and whatever's left over can usually overpower the Inferno. But um, for the Witch Bowler especially, when you're planning out that attack, typically you're looking at how can you get through the base with two jump spells, connecting both Infernos um, and taking out the majority of the base. But the Infernos are always the focus when you're planning out the Witch Bowler. For the Falcon, it's a similar type thing um, in that you're trying to get through about 75% of the base uh, in, in the initial like sweep through um, when you're planning out the pathing for everything. You can check out my uh, video on how to actually do the Falcon um, from a few weeks ago. But um, that's the idea, is that you're pushing through the base, trying to get as much taken out um, in that initial push, then your troops, whatever's left over, will clean up the remaining defenses wherever they should be. Um, right here, he's still coming at the Infernos, but it, there's less of a focus on getting them taken out. So if anything, the Falcon's one of the exceptions, I guess, to this rule, in that the Infernos are less important. But still, um, the Skelly spell is important here to tank um, for the single Inferno, so it doesn't lock on to the Queen here. Um, and I think actually, yeah, right there it does, unfortunately. But pops the ability, some of the archers are going to tank, so she can grab the Inferno. And even in this type of attack, the importance of getting both Infernos is, is very high, because the King, the Valks, 
all relatively high HP, but when the when the Inferno locks onto them in its guarded by a bunch of walls that can be a huge issue so even when planning out the falcon you want to look at how can i get through the base quickly take out 75 percent of it or so but mo perhaps most importantly how can i get both infernos in that push um i think he's gonna have a swag heal spell actually we'll see if uh he uses it or not can't remember um had the queen not gotten the inferno, would have been closer. Probably still would have gotten the three star just because there's so many troops left up. Uh, uses the heal right there. But um, it definitely helps to get both infernos. That way, you don't have an inferno that's going to burn down your king and a bunch of Valks. You just have normal defenses that don't do quite as much damage uh, left up at the end of the attack. So like I said, you can check out my specific uh, attack strategy video on how to use the Falcon. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video helped for those of you Town Hall 10s uh, thinking about what exactly is the main idea for 3-starring at Town Hall 10. In my opinion, that is it. Dealing with those Infernos on a hybrid attack, either having your kill squad get it taken out really quickly and then not dealing with the second Inferno, or just having them avoid both Infernos and using the Hogs or the La Loon to take out the Infernos because it does less damage to those defense targeting portions of the attack. And then for these types of, I guess, quote unquote spam type attacks, um, which is the Falcon and the Witch Bowler, those um, less important to get the Infernos, but still. That's going to be one of the main things you want to think about is how can I get through the base quickly, connect to both Infernos, and get those taken out um, because when you want to, when you have a little bit of the base left up, you don't want an Inferno as, par as that part of that because it can take out your king, your queen really quickly, especially if it's behind walls. So enough said. Let me know if you have any questions, anything else to add in the comments. Sorry for no stream this week. I thought I'd mention that. Um, hopefully next week we can get back to the Beat This Base stream. But that will do it, and I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.